Editing your website and content in Weebly is really easy. In order to edit any separate page, simply click the page from the navigation and you'll be brought to it to edit it. If your navigation isn't working to bring you to the page to edit it, you can also use the Pages button at the top and click your page from the left to bring you to that page to edit that page. Based on your theme, certain pages will already be pre-populated with different content. That content can be deleted or kept based on whatever you want. Any item in Weebly is editable simply by hovering over it and then clicking it. So for example, if I wanted to edit this picture, I would hover over it and click it and it would give me any editable options. It also gives me the option to move any content that I would want or delete any content that I would not want. There are also sections that you can click and edit as well based on certain themes. If you'd like to add any content to your page, that can be done under the Build tab at the top. Any of these items are draggable onto your site to edit. So for example, if I wanted to add more text, I would simply click and drag this text box and wherever the blue icon is, that's where my new editable text box is going to appear. Again, clicking in any item will bring up the editing options. There are also more elements under Show All Elements. The first thing that you're going to want to edit is your eFolio's actual name. Up on my site, you can choose to either have that done as a picture or just text. I'm going to put my name. You do have the option to change some of your fonts or sizings under the Theme tab. So notice how my eFolio goes onto the second line. If I choose Theme and choose my Change Fonts button, this is the site title. As I can see, when I hover over, it turns blue. I want to change the size so it all fits onto one line. I could also change the color here if I wanted. Some of these options will not be available to you based on whatever theme you have. When you've made any changes to your website, they'll automatically save on Weebly. However, they won't be published or you won't be able to see them on the actual live internet until you choose this publish button in the upper right hand corner. Go ahead and choose publish. The first time you publish your site, it may ask you to type in your domain name again. Remember, we want our first and last name. If it doesn't ask you to do that, it will simply publish it. You can view your website by clicking your actual link here, and you will see your live portfolio as it appears on your editing screen in Weebly. However, remember that any changes you make to your website won't be live until you click the publish button. So for example, if I went to my contact tab and I deleted all of this text and typed something random in, and I went back to my eFolio and I clicked on contact, notice that text isn't deleted, even though it appears that way on my Weebly editor. Until I click publish, that won't change. Now that I've published it, if I go back and I refresh, I'll see any changes I've made. So you can do any edits that you want to make in Weebly, and they won't show to the public until you actually choose Publish. At this point, you should be all set up to edit your eFolio. Good luck!